To find the Lord Jesus Christ, we must be willing to seek Him. Our Daily Bread Today's encouragement from the Our Daily Bread devotional was written by David McCaslin. Michelangelo Marisi de Caravaggio, an Italian artist born in 1571, was known for his fiery temperament and unconventional technique. He used ordinary working people as models for his saints and was able to make viewers of his paintings feel that they were a part of the scene. The supper at Emmaus, described in Luke 24, shows an innkeeper standing while Jesus and two of his followers are seated at a table when they recognize him as the risen Lord. One disciple is pushing himself to a standing position while the other's arms are outstretched and his hands open in astonishment. Luke, who records these events in his gospel, tells us that the two men immediately returned to Jerusalem, where they found the eleven disciples and others assembled together and saying, It is true, the Lord has risen and has appeared to Simon. Then the two told what had happened on the way, and how Jesus was recognized by them when he broke the bread. Evangelist and teacher Oswald Chambers said, Jesus rarely comes where we expect him. He appears where we least expect him and always in the most illogical connections. The only way a worker can keep true to God is by being ready for the Lord's surprise visits. Whatever road we are on today, may we be ready for Jesus to make himself known to us in new and surprising ways. Today's Our Daily Bread devotional scripture reading is from Luke chapter 24, verses 13 through 35. Now that same day, two of them were going to the village called Emmaus, about seven miles from Jerusalem. They were talking with each other about everything that had happened. As they talked and discussed these things with each other, Jesus himself came up and walked along with them, but they were kept from recognizing him. He asked them, What are you discussing together as you walk along? They stood still, their faces downcast. One of them, named Cleopas, asked him, Are you the only one visiting Jerusalem who does not know the things that have happened there in these days? What things, he asked. About Jesus of Nazareth, they replied. He was a prophet, powerful in word and deed, before God and all the people. The chief priests and our rulers handed him over to be sentenced to death, and they crucified him. But we had hoped that he was the one who was going to redeem Israel. And what is more, it is the third day since all this took place. In addition, some of our women amazed us. They went to the tomb early this morning, but didn't find his body. They came and told us that they had seen a vision of angels, who said he was alive. Then some of our companions went to the tomb and found it just as the women had said, but they did not see Jesus. He said to them, How foolish you are, and how slow to believe all that the prophets have spoken. Did not the Messiah have to suffer these things and then enter his glory? And beginning with Moses and all the prophets, he explained to them what was said in all the scriptures concerning himself. As they approached the village to which they were going, Jesus continued on as if he were going farther. But they urged him strongly, Stay with us, for it is nearly evening, the day is almost over. So he went in to stay with them. When he was at the table with them, he took bread gave thanks, broke it, and began to give it to them. Then their eyes were opened, and they recognized him, and he disappeared from their sight. They asked each other, Were not our hearts burning within us while he talked with us on the road and opened the scriptures to us? They got up and returned at once to Jerusalem. There they found the eleven, and those with them assembled together and saying, It is true. The Lord has risen and has appeared to Simon. Then the two told what had happened on the way and how Jesus was recognized by them when he broke the bread. That's today's scripture reading from Luke chapter 24, verses 13 through 35. And now let's pray. Lord Jesus, open our eyes to see you, the risen Christ, alongside us and at work in the circumstances of our lives today. It's in your name we pray. Amen. Today's encouragement was provided by our Daily Bread Ministries.